Well, hello and welcome to Knife Delights. This is another Way Back Wednesday video. Way Back Wednesday is a great open tag started by our good friend Warthog. Warthog, I hope this finds you in good health. Now, everybody knows Warthog. He's the man, the legend, and the curator of cutlery. Okay, let's get into this wonderful K-Bar Camp Knife or... You know, there's several different names. You can call it a camp knife. It's called a scout knife. And it's also referred to as a utility knife. So, whichever name you choose uh, to pick. But anyway, this is an older model K-Bar camp knife. And this one was made sometime between, oh, 1966 and 1982. For this knife, and I do have the box for it, this knife was manufactured while uh, K-Bar was owned by Cole National. You can see there, Cleveland, Ohio. And here's the box for it. Okay. And then inside the box, we have some paperwork. And I'll kind of show this here for just a second. You can pause it and read it if you'd like. I won't uh, read the whole thing. There's our warranty. There's some information on the Collector's Club. Here's how to care for your K-Bar knife. How to sharpen your K-Bar knife. And then some information on their uh, Arkansas oil stones. So pretty cool. Got the box and the paperwork along with this knife. So on this uh, particular style of camp knife, we have jig uh, Delrin scales. And you can see it's nice and thick. This is a heavy-duty, well-built knife. Of course, as uh, customary, you got a bale there. you got a really big pin right there. Uh, nic nickel silver bolsters, and then a nickel silver shield, oval shield with K-bar in it. We turn it over, and the fit and finish on the back side, the back springs and all, just nice and smooth. Brass liners, nice thick springs there. This is a well-built knife. Now a lot of the uh, a lot of the camp knives were kind of you know more budget oriented, and uh, I'll show you a couple. We'll compare this to a couple others here in just a minute. But as you can see, it's got the easy out there, nail nick access, and there is the punch. And you can see on here you still got some of that oil. It looks like dried oil. You can tell that this is new old stock. And it's not been used. So we've got that. Of course, your main blade, the spear point. And again, you got some dried oil on there. Shot at the tang stamp. K bar 1152 USA. And then here is our can opener. And. Boy, that's stiff. And there's the cap lifter and screwdriver. Just a gorgeous knife. Now, what I wanted to do, you can tell it's dry. I'm going to put just a drop of oil or two in here. See if we can uh, loosen the snap up just, just a little bit. Of course, this is from uh, Last Chance Knives. You can get it on Etsy. Comes in this handy little bottle. And always got to be careful on these with that uh, bale that <laughs> you can snap the blade down. Oh, look at that. Just a little bit of oil. Yep, that sure helps out. Just a little drop down in there. And if, especially if you get a new knife, 
It doesn't hurt to put just a little drop of oil in there and clean those pivots out. Oil it up. Yeah, that's much better. This one really feels dry. Just a tad bit of oil. Now, if you're going to be carrying the knife a lot, uh, you don't want to put an excessive amount of oil in there because it does draw, you know, dust and dirt and stuff. So you can gum, a, gum it up too. So, oh, look, at so much smoother. So much smoother. Whoops, I got that one, didn't I? No, I don't think I did. There we go. Doesn't take much. Boy, it just smooth that right up. Yeah. So let's take a, a look at a couple other ones here. So, there's your K-Bar. This is a Forest Master. I just uh, did a video on this one here. So this is the four-bladed Forest Master. Now you can see when you look at camp knives, you see this one here is actually the the bale is actually pinned in there. And like on these Forest Masters, they are removable. They're not they're not pinned in there. And you can see the difference in the the covers. See how thin that material is? You compare that with this Delrin in here. Look at how much thicker those covers are. More heavy duty. It does look like the springs are a little bit wider on it also. Of course, brass liners versus steel. Now this is an old one. And this may have been World War II era. So they maybe couldn't use brass on that one. And here's a Camp King. And this is a hammer brand, which I've shown before. But you can see the difference in quality. See, even looking at this hammer brand, I don't think it's because it shrunk. But look, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't even get it all covered. But hammer brand, hammer brand was a, a very budget line. But again, you just got the th really thin uh, covers on there. Compared to that nice, thick uh, Jig Delrin there. Now on this one, it does have the pinned clevis. Just like that one. So there's a lot of neat things here. This is why I like collecting, especially these old vintage knives. This is why I love to collect them. I like to study them, see the different histories behind the knives. Uh, you know, there's always differences in these knives. Like on here, there's your can opener on that one. And it's a different one on this one because it's got that sharpened edge right there. And on this one, it's pretty similar, only it's bigger. And on this side, it actually says can opener on it. <laughs> so, in case you didn't know. But anyway... Down here in the lower right-hand corner, well, I'll uh, leave a link to one of my playlists, that big round knife delight, so I please hit that if you'd like to subscribe. And down in the lower left-hand corner, well, that's just the next video YouTube thinks you should watch. So until next time, have a very delightful day.